Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today I want to discuss webcams not matching up or syncing up with your audio. What's going on? You, 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 you just spent all this time and effort going into making some kind of video. It looks great on your media player on your PC or Mac, uh, but once you drag it over into uh, editing software, it ends up working its way out of sync. Well, what happened? Well, it's a variable frame rate. Your webcam will do a variable, a variable frame rate. And basically, if it's a 30 frames per second camera, it may go in and out of that 30 frames per second somewhere along the way. And when you pull it over into your editing software, it can't adjust and handle for variable frame rates. There's a lot of cheap editing software that can, and that's that's the frustrating part. That's what makes me kind of angry at Adobe. Uh, I use Adobe Premiere CC 2017. It can't handle variable frame rates. And that's weird because I have Cyberlink Power Director and it can handle it just fine. I, I've read online that Sony Vegas can handle variable frame rates. Just Adobe can't. So it ends up getting out of sync. So what I do to resolve those issues uh, is I just send it over to Cyberlink Power Director, put it up in there. It's supposed to be 30 frames per second, and I'm using a right now. I'm filming on the webcam. It's a Logitech Brio, yeah, Brio 4K Pro webcam. Uh, so it's brand new, and I was hoping it would be a constant frame rate, but it's not. And so I have to go over to Cyberlink, put it in there, render it out. And then it's a true 29.97, I think that's right, uh, frames per second. I carry it over to Adobe, and then I'm able to edit and just keep working and trucking like normal. And and depending on the length, you know, that, that can take 10 or 15 minutes to just render that out. Cyberlink, super quick. It's not completely lossless data. I haven't, uh, some of my colors may be off a little bit. I mean, it's close. Uh, there's also handbrake. Um, uh, that's an application that you can get. It's free to download, but it takes like hours, it's depending on how long your content is. And it's 4K, you know, I'm filming this in 4K. Uh, to do lossless, absolute lossless data transfer into constant frame rate, because that's what you want. You don't want the variable. So Handbrake can do that for you, but it just takes forever in a day. Uh, so I just allow Cyberlink Power Director. To, to do that it costs money you can catch them on sale for like 60 70 bucks maybe you can get an older version and just use that or sony vegas if you already have it or whatever but if you're dealing if you're having this issue where it's out of sync and you know that you've looked on the media player itself and, and, and visually looked at it after you've recorded and it's just fine throughout it's just when you carry it over to your editing software that's the problem it just can't handle the variable it can handle the constant just fine so the issue to resolve it get some kind of cheap editing software render it right back out again into a true uh constant frame rate then you can carry it over to your adobe and into the adobe premiere software and just keep editing trucking like crazy uh one of the things i'm going to try with this now because i had this, those issues and it took me a while to figure it out like hours to figure it out it's very frustrating um what i'm going to try to do is use the microphone on the webcam itself by itself uh, record render out you know do that junk and i'm recording with a separate audio software into this microphone separately and in adobe i'm going to try to to sync it up but i'm just going to use really cyberlink to uh, uh just handle the frame rate it'll have some audio with it so i can uh, match it up and sync it up in adobe but i'm hoping to have a true reform because i did lose some audio quality too from doing that so at least i can keep true audio quality uh, maybe lose a little bit on the video side. I hope not. I'm gonna try to compare and make sure. But anyway, that's the resolution. That's the problem. Adobe, if you can handle variable frame rates, please do that. If if cheap software will do it, why can't Adobe? And you look in the forums, and Adobe will recommend going to use Handbrake. Why not just cheap software does it? Why not offer it? I don't know. Some people say, well, it's pro software and you're always going to have constant frame rates with pro equipment. Are most of your cameras outside of webcams will do that? So it's just very frustrating. But there's your 
uh, problem and solution all wrapped up in one. So thanks for watching Isaiah's reviews. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Share me to all your social sites so they know what's going on. It gets me to places I can't get to on my own. I really do appreciate it. Can't wait to see you again right here on Isaiah's Reviews. Goodbye.